Hello everybody, uh, this is Abraham with Nashar Computer Services. I'd like to show you how to take apart this uh, Dell Inspiron 5110. Uh, I suspect that the hard drive on this computer is no good and uh, I pulled out all the uh, covers on the back, didn't find the hard drive so uh, it's the first time I'm taking it apart. I got all the screws removed. Um, I thought I'd show you how to get the keyboard. You have to use a small flathead screwdriver. There are little uh, um, push thingies in there. You just push on them and pop the keyboard. There is four of them. So you just push on them, the keyboard pops. Alright, so then you just slide it out like so there are no screws on the keyboard so it just pops out and then I mean you gotta pop this and then you have one two three uh, wire, wire harnesses that you have to take out and then that's basically it for that so then you have to pull on this and kind of jam it in and just tear it out so the top just comes out like that as long as you have all the screws removed it will come out when I took it apart I noticed that there isn't a hard drive on the inside either the location of the hard drive on this computer is the worst one I've ever seen you have to I mean I've seen worse but this is bad this is seriously not Dell uh, Dell I mean Dell that I like Dell that I enjoy working on. Um, this Dell is a nightmare because hard drive replacement should not be a chore. So I uh, haven't uh, to take out the hard drive we have to take out the motherboard and we basically find all these screws that have little triangles on them pop those out. I am, dear Dale, I am disappointed to the fact, uh, don't forget to take the SD card thing, it does get in the way. I am disappointed with your design team. It should not be done this way. A hard drive should be an easy component to replace. I understand why it's done this way. It's done this way so people throw things away faster. Of course, not me, not here. I do not throw things out. I fix them. That's my business. Uh, something is holding it in place. I'm not liking it. I guess what has to be done has to be done. The LCD has to come out. Uh, you people may be wondering what I'm using and where I got this nifty tool. Well, I'll tell you made it myself. All right. Well, not liking this computer at all. It is not supposed to be this difficult. All right, so beside the motherboard we had to disconnect the LCD and let's see maybe more stuff I have to take out looks like this piece has to come out come on. this is what it means to be in a business of computer repair things you find out okay as I found just now, I thought I'd mention, there's a little rubber boot that covers the screw. I did not realize that. So the top comes out. 
Are we there yet? No, almost. Something's holding it in place. Something there. Okay. Oh, I see. The speaker wires. Gotta be careful about all these wire harnesses. Uh, this is a fall sensor. Uh, it usually just pops out. Uh, normally you don't have to take it out. As I order motherboards, I see that people don't realize that that thing has to come separate. They send me. Okay, here's your motherboard. Here's the uh, god awful place that Dell decided to put the hard drive in. And here's another thing. Look at how this screw is put in at the factory. This is bad people. This computer has never been taken apart. It should not be done this way. Well, any rate, uh, I guess just, uh, let's see. Got a couple of screws here. <clears throat> well, let's see. I thought I'd stop, but seems like there's more interesting stuff. I've never seen hard drive be part of a motherboard. Um, that's what it seems like over here. Maybe it's even glued. Alright, yeah, there's a little glue on there. Okay, oh no, I see, it's just rubber. That's how you do it, people, and it is awful, awful. Dear Dell, please don't do this. Hard drive should be a removable, replaceable, consumable component on all computers. Thank you.